گزارش بودجه So my good fortune continues with the weather and the road. Um, it's a not very pleasant, of course, driving. When you're going east, you've got the sun in your eyes in the, e e e in the evening. And uh, having said that, I'd rather have the sun in my eyes than the moon in my eyes. And the gentleman just flashed at me. So there's obviously something up front, such as the police. I've got my lights on. Yeah, I've got my lights on. That's not a problem. Let's go a little bit slower. And uh, we're coming so just to make sure I'm going over 60 and another person nicely uh, flashing at me as well so there's that one sold so nice and slowly because the police are here can't see them yet though oh there they are oh they found one naughty person going too fast oh dear oh dear looking at the radar Well, he won't be doing that again. He didn't take any notice of the people flashing. Many years ago, I had a girlfriend in Wrocław, and I lived in Warsaw, and I used to come down this every every Friday night. And uh, so I know the road very well, but it's changed a lot. They put speed cameras up everywhere, which uh, um, I am, of course, in favour of. Um, but I think that more at the point, it's not so much speed cameras, it's more dangerous driving. Overtaking on a bend, on a blind bend, and then suddenly pushing yourself in on traffic, forcing other people to brake, uh, particularly those that are coming at you. Uh, that's the sort of thing that really needs to have something done about. Well, then somebody's going 10 kilometers an hour over the limit. In my opinion. Of course, somebody going double the limit are people who need to be stopped. Well, I'm not going very far past here. I suspect there's another speed camera up in front. Of course, I mean, 60 kilometers an hour is the limit. I've been down this road now for uh, coming this direction anyway for a year and a half since I did my Europe 2007 tour and um, I came this way and I must say it's uh, actually it has changed a lot not only all these speed cameras up but the quality of the road is much better it's much quicker moving and um, uh, I'm quite happy with this uh, this is this part here is a problem and as much as the motorway uh, is on the cards, has been on the cards for at least uh, I don't know, 15 years to be built here, uh, even officially on official um, uh, government maps to start putting on the plans of the motorway with the route, but uh, now this has more or less been shelved. There may be a dual carriageway here one day, but that's as far as we're going to get. Oh, so unusual, a motorbike with a sidecar. Not often one sees one of them. Oh dear, look, they're German troops. He's got a German helmet on. As he said in the uh, film, uh, the directors, or something like that. Oh dear. And, and what appears to be a Second World War uniform. We haven't been invaded, have we? Another one behind me. Hope not coming for me. Fortunately, it does appear to have a uh, Polish number plate, or maybe they're agent provocateurs. Maybe they're pretending to be Poles in Nazi uniforms, but they're really Nazis. Hogging the road as well. I 
didn't notice this when they went past me. Maybe there are Germans, they're driving at the legal speed through the town. I think they've just given themselves away. No Pole would do that. 